Welcome to Bits of History. My name is Lee Pulaski, President of the Resurrection Bay Historical Society. This bit of history is the first in a series which we'll be doing from time to time entitled Gone But Not Forgotten. Each one will tell the story of a historic building in Seward that for one reason or another no longer exists. The subject of today's bit is the Methodist Church which was located at the corner of Church Street and 4th Avenue from 1946 to 1994. The building was originally built as the Army Chapel at Fort Raymond, the Army base established at Seward just before the start of World War II. When the base was deactivated in August 1945, the Methodist congregation in Seward purchased the Army Chapel for $3,500. At that time, the Methodist Church was located in the building presently housing the Resurrection Art Coffee House. In July 1946, the building was towed from Fort Raymond, where the rec camp is now located, to Fourth and Church, to Fourth and Church Street by a bulldozer. Movers put the chapel on skids and slid it over a series of wooden tracks. The cornerstone unveiling for the new building was held on September 22nd. 1946, and as the program for the ceremony said, all services and meetings from now on will be held in the new church. In the litany dedicating the church, the cornerstone was described as for a building that shall stand as a symbol of the church universal, the cornerstone of which is truth, the creed of which is love, and its powers eternal hope. The church was dedicated in memory of the soldiers who died in World War II and was named Seward Memorial United Methodist Church. Besides serving the spiritual needs of the congregation, the church was an integral part of the social life of the community. For example, the popular Alaska Music Trails performances from the 1950s through the 70s were held at the church. During the 1964 earthquake, the chimney fell down and there were minor cracks in the foundation, but no major damage. Early on the morning of December 26, 1994, fire destroyed the church. The fire was so intense that firemen could not enter the sanctuary, resulting in a total loss of the building. The cause of the fire was a faulty ballast on a fluorescent light in the basement. A new church was built close to the old site and dedicated on Sunday, April 14, 1996. The cornerstone from the old church was incorporated in the new building, so a part of this historic building remains with us. Thanks for listening to this bit of history. To learn more about Seward's interesting past, visit the Seward Museum.